We've got Tom El Greco in the house tonight on Tuesday for Mile High Insiders with a $5 Super Chat donation. Thank you very much for your support, Tom. And good evening. Now, Tom's saying, just a reminder on Drew's QBR in the last six games. If he was in the top five, thanks, guys. So it looks like Tom's wanting to talk a little bit about Drew's QBR in the last six games, Nick. Um, this is a question, Tom, that we actually talked about before the show started. Uh, Bawana Beast was talking to me about it. We talked to Nick about it. And, Nick, you were able to share a little bit of a visual aid, I think, with John that we're going to try to pop up here in a second that uh, is, is a very nice visual aid to help answer this question. Yeah, and you might as well make it full screen, John, if you have the ability, just because some of it is so small. I mean, you can even take my beautiful face off the screen for a second if you want. Um, but as you guys can see there, uh, I don't have the QBR information and I don't have a good graphic tool to display that as well as this one. But what I do have is EPA per play, which is expected points added per play, as well as completion percentage over expected. On the left is EPA per play. On the bottom is completion percentage over expected. Now, this data shows that while Drew Locke played better down the stretch last year, he was, you know, a bottom 10-ish quarterback, bottom 12. Uh, he played some, this is also not uh, standardized for the defenses that they played. Broncos played, uh, I think, five bottom 10 defenses over the last seven games of the season. So uh, that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, so, but the biggest thing here is, this is a stat that's haunted Drew Locke for a while. While his EPA per play, as you can see on the left here, is now, we're getting really nerdy today. I love it, man. Football mm -hmm. analytics, mm -hmm. this is cutting edge stuff. Yeah, um, but yeah. on the left here, you have EPA per play. Locke does better there, but where he tends to struggle, and this has been the case through his whole career, this was the case in college as well, is the CPOE or completion percentage over expected. Now, what is CPOE? It's a, a very popular next gen stat uh, where they use the likelihood of a given pass to be completed at the time it's thrown, averages of all those throws expected percentages, and then subtracts that from the actual completion percentage of a player for each game. So essentially, it takes all the throws that a has been thrown to a certain spot at a certain time it, that's ever been accumulated and puts what the quarterback that you're assessing is as the numerator. And then you get the CPOE. So completion percentage over expected. The expected would be the average and drew lock time and time again, really, really, really low CPOE. Now that could be because of processing issues that could be because mechanical issues where, uh, you know, causes bad accuracy, but uh, that could CPOE be because he under the ball way too long for the love of God, get rid of it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just one that he struggles with uh, tremendously. Um, he was also one of the worst in that college class in 2019 and that mediocre milk toast quarterback class that was 2019 outside of Kyler Murray. And uh, it's one that's been an issue here as well. So you see he, people talk about the accuracy with Locke. Well, where's the data that kind of shows that? It's the CPOE. And he actually, I mean, there are worse quarterbacks here, as you can see um, over that time span. But, you know, it's, it's not great. And you have Justin Herbert right there too, right? But then J Justin Herbert, higher EPA per play. And this is not taking in standardized uh, measurements for the defenses they're playing, right? Like Broncos playing, let's say they play three bottom five defenses over the stretch. Numbers are going to be different than playing great defenses. It just is what it is. And also this, unfortunately, does not include uh, the Broncos, Drew Locke himself, going up against the New Orleans Saints, which had the number one run defense in football. Would have been interesting to see what Drew Locke could have done when the Melvin Gordon, who was a bop, top five running back down the stretch last year when Drew Locke was playing better, um, if he was neutralized and they had to rely on Drew Locke because that was not that was not the case down the stretch last year.